Hey everyone, just wanted to do a quick little video showing off some really, really cool stuff that I got from some fellow members of my local LEGO user group, which is called Parlugment. So Parlugment, it's a play on uh, the Parliament buildings here in Ottawa, Canada. And yeah, so basically uh, we just had a meeting this past Wednesday, and I got some really neat stuff. So pretty much all of this was minifigures. I put a call out because uh, I'm working on some big projects for Brickworld Chicago, and... This guy needs to go in here. This is all licensed minifigures. I got a lot of Lord of the Rings stuff. Uh, some really gorgeous figures in here. I've only gotten one or two small Lord of the Rings sets so far. A couple of orcs and other things at conventions. Uh, and there's just some really, really beautiful figures here. They're a little bit stiff, so I'm going to need to look into for all of these figures. A lot of them are kind of stiff. I need to figure out how to loosen them up a bit. Um, this is Lone Ranger figures. Some really gorgeous prints in here that I can use for all sorts of custom stuff. Uh, realistic style clone troopers, which I can never have enough of. Uh, I love these guys to use for Star Wars Clone Wars multimedia project mocks from the old Clone Wars before um, the 2008 Clone Wars, which is what these parts are from. These are older Imperial pieces. Uh, and then I got a couple of newer style Imperial parts. Uh, some of them have gone, have already gotten used up for other figures that I'll show in a minute. Uh, yeah, Lone Ranger. These are micro figures and a... Uh, um, Simpsons minifigure that I just recognized from the I'm in danger meme. And then Harry Potter uh, figures. I didn't have a Dobby before. I didn't have a Madam Hooch. So really nice. Uh, Old Republic figures, which I, I'm i not a huge Old Republic fan. Uh, of course, I've seen the cinematics and those are gorgeous. Uh, I've been a little bit more interested in KOTOR recently. Knights of the Old Republic, which is a totally different game. But uh, yeah, I got a bunch of Rebels, uh, lots of lots of Ewoks, which is great, and uh, Ben Kenobi, how appropriate, and a um, Tatooine Luke, given what uh, you know what's airing on Disney Plus right now. And then here, this is all uh, not original stuff. So some Adventurers torsos down here, which I love. Some World City and uh, Early City, which is really uh, nice. Atlantis figures, which are gorgeous. Some other early minifig parts in here. Uh, Pharaoh's Quest, Exo Force, Ninjago. Uh, Ninjago is just crazy with the detail work on some of those figures. Chima, uh, Kingdoms, which is great. Lots and lots of heads. Some collectible minifigures here. Some newer city. Uh, Alien Conquest. These are fun. I never had one of these clingers as a kid. Uh, yeah, and then the rest of this is just various miscellaneous parts, and I'll be using a lot of these for customs over the next two weeks. So here's a um, Plo Koon from Jedi Power Battles that I'm working on, uh, kind of a neoclassic space, or sorry, a neoclassic uh, imperial or an, uh, figure, basically combining new and old parts together to see uh, if that works. Um, a uh, sig fig for my friend Jesse who hooked me up with a lot of this lot. Can it focus? Nope. There we go. Very nice. Uh, oh, yeah, a, a sand trooper body. I'm going to need to use this for something. And even some balls and chains. I kind of want to use this for a uh, uh, Disney's... Um, what was it? Uh, Disney's Robin Hood uh, mock, because I vividly remember these balls and chains when I watched that movie as a kid. But yeah. Oh, and there's a Clone Wars 3 and 3 quarter inch helmet in here. Neat. So, yeah, that's pretty much just this for... That's it for now with all of these. I also got a Nexo Knight's Axel Big Fig. Uh, I don't know where he wound up. Uh, he's somewhere in my various boxes of minifigs. But that's all for now. I'll see you in another video on my way to Brickworld.